As we head into the Christmas holidays, I wanted personally to reflect on the extraordinary achievements of the Army through 2021 and to thank all of you and your families for the remarkable performance that has characterised the British Army's contribution to the UK and our overseas operations through the course of this year. I also personally want to say to all of you for whom Christmas is going to be spent overseas this year, whether you're in Mali, Estonia, whether you're in Poland or serving across the broader Middle East, I want to thank you for what you're doing on behalf of the British Army and I want to remind you that you're very much in the minds of all the rest of the Army family as we settle back for our Christmas holidays. And I personally am acutely conscious that there will be at least 5,000 families this Christmas for whom there'll be a gap around the kitchen table and an unwanted space on the sofa. So wherever you are or wherever you're serving, thank you for everything that you do on all our behalves. And I hope that you too share at least some measure of a safe and happy Christmas. And to everybody else, you've thoroughly deserved a revitalizing and refreshing break this Christmas and New Year. And that I hope you come back refreshed and ready for a new set of challenges and commitments in 2022. But thank you all very much indeed for your service. Happy Christmas. <laughs>